Okay, we got the Vortex Venom Red Dot. Kinda always wanted to get one for my 44 mag here. And I kinda unboxed everything, so it just came with the cleaning cloth, instructions, the um, Torx wrenches, and um, extra, there was one extra screw, so it's two screws to mount it, and then there's this, um, it looks like it's screws and wrench for like a Glock, so you got that, and I already got it mounted on my Smith & Wesson Performance Center 44 Magnum Hunter, and gun is clear. So, and it comes with a, a kind of rubber cover, and there it is. So, I would say the hardest part that I had was actually just putting in the battery. Like, um, they they have a screwdriver. I have it in my other toolkit, but um, so there's a screwdriver to take out the battery and adjust the. Um, elevation and windage but putting on the, the battery the battery cover after um, putting in the battery uh, I, I had a hard time putting it on so it took me a while it took me about like like maybe 10 minutes to get it on I had to kind of push it down and just make sure I didn't you know cross thread and but yeah I finally got it on so that was probably the hardest part of the installation and there are no torque specs too so I just kind of I, I don't know it might be a little too much but I just went off of the um, the the base and the the scope rings on my vortex um, my scope rings so they call for 30 here and 18 on the the rings so and I use Loctite too, so but I actually could torque it down to 30 inch pounds here. I'm not too sure that might be too much, but it snugged up and it's on a 44 mag, so we'll see if it loosens up. And I torque the top ones with Loctite to 20 inch pounds too, so uh, I don't know. I, I heard th there's no spec, so I'm not too sure what you actually gotta go. I, I went online and they're seeing some as like. 12 to 15 inch pounds but yeah whatever it, it worked it's it's okay so yeah came out good and still gotta go um, zero it but um yeah i'll turn it on and hopefully you ca i can um get it to show on the camera and these are i just put ex extra batteries it's um cr1632 battery so i got this sun eBay. Okay, let's see if I can get it to show up here. So you just press it on, and yep, yeah, and then you press and hold. I believe two blinks. It's manual, so you can make it brighter. Just push the up button and you can dim it. Okay, that was three blinks. And this is auto. So it'll adjust to the, the light conditions. And to turn off you just press and hold it down and there you go it's off and cover just snaps on like that 